Let's talk about creatine since it's one of the most effective and legal muscle building things you can take. Did I say legal? Yes, legal. So first of all, let's look at all the things creatine can help you with, such as membrane stability, the production of ATP. It can also improve the damage done by exercise, which remember every time we work out, we're doing some type of damage and that type of stress is going to increase our muscle mass. And this is very interesting. Not only it lowers the damage itself, it also speeds the healing process. So that's wild. It increases microvascular density and recruitment of muscle fibers. That's amazing. And a bunch of things you don't know about. So let's keep going. Things to know. Creatine is not a steroid. It's not. Creatine is naturally found in food such as red meat. Now, the thing is you can get creatine from food, yes, but you need a large quantity of food. I don't know about you, but I can't digest five to eight pounds of red meat. That's a lot of food. And this is very interesting. Herring has a lot of creatine. So as we said, one gram of creatine for every one to two pounds of red meat. And that's a lot. There's no need to cycle on and off. I've heard people eat extremely high quantities of creatine for a specific amount of time and then get off creatine and then repeat the process again and i do not like that okay do not overdo it it's better to be consistent and in smaller quantities and ideally creatine should be taken with food post workout and the literature recommends to have creatine with carbs because of the insulin but to be honest, every time you eat, you're going to spike insulin, yes or yes. So it doesn't have to be carbs specifically. It can be fat or protein. We don't want to go crazy with blood sugars and then end up with blood sugar problems. So if you're going to do carbs, don't go crazy with the carbs. Creatine works by recycling ATP and ATP is your body's energy source. And the more creatine stored in muscle, the more energy available for that working muscle. That's why creatine improves athletic performance. And it's one of the safest and cheapest supplements available. It does not damage the kidneys okay, when taken at the recommended levels, like I said. In fact, it has been researched for a long, long time. Obviously, if you know where you are getting your creatine from, that's very important. And it's not just about safety. You do not need to load on creatine because there is a saturation point for creatine. Once your muscles are saturated with creatine, there is no benefit. So, just safety. Remember, consistency over intensity. Powder is way superior to capsules. You need to know where you are buying your creatine from. Make sure you are buying from a trusted brand. Super important. You don't need creatine in capsule form, proprietary blends, or fancy ingredients. And creatine monohydrate, which is very cheap, very, is all you need. And also creatine hydrates your cells. Creatine drives water into muscle cells, which seems to protect against dehydration, muscle cramps, and muscle injuries. That's amazing. If you're getting adequate water and salt in your diet, almost everyone is safe taking creatine. And why do I say almost everyone? Because there are some health conditions that need to be supervised. So I don't want people having health conditions and taking things that might hurt them. So always talk to your doctor first. And last but not least, creatine does not work unless you do, okay? Do not expect creatine to be a magic pill because it's not. Do not expect to take creatine and then boom, Iron Man, because that's not going to happen. And you're going to be hella disappointed. You need to be consistent at the gym, working out, 
and you will see results. Remember, it's all about consistency.